Hi. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. Please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by subscribing to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be discussing on how to find Active Directory users using PowerShell. So let's say you have a lot of users in your Active Directory and you are someone who um, actually um, love using PowerShell to find users. So how do you find you, all your um, active users or how do you find users in a specific organization unit? If, for example, let me just show you an example. Here's my Active Directory. So here you can see I have um, different organization units. I have one called Kelvin. I have users. I have um, admin users. So how do you actually find um, your user uh, users or you want to actually export these users to a CSV file to an Excel file So how do you find a specific group of users and export them to? Um, uh, to Excel file or to a CSV file So first of all what you need to do you need to start a PowerShell I've started PowerShell as an administrator So just go to your start menu here and here you can see I have the power um, shell and the ISE what what you need to do is to right right click on it and then go to more and then run as administrator so i prefer to actually run this as administrator because it gives me more privilege to actually use the windows power shell so first of all to actually find all users in your active directory we need to use the command which is called the get a day user so as we begin to type you can see that it's giving me some options which i'm just going to go for the get a day users so we're going to filter and we're going to use the filter option to filter all our users so let me just use this there and again we're going to actually go for the properties this so i'm going to go for the stairs so when i just run this command so you can see it's giving me all the users in my environment but here you can see let me just let me pause this let me stop this you can see it's giving me a lot of information actually which is of course have the account expiration date so here you can see a lot of information and this information comes actually from your um from your properties your attributes in active directory so let me just look for a user let me use nora johnson as an example and i go to properties and here you can see the attributes here so when i remove just so here you can see all this information I can search for the um, I can filter actually on all this information here displayed in the properties so if for example we want to actually filter the user let me just select only some specific properties so I don't get um, a bunch list of uh, different attributes that I don't need so I'm going to just pipe this and enter the select property so I just want to get the given name of the user, the given name. Um, I want the surname as well, and I want the display name. Display name. So when I let me just clear my screen, and let me just make this a little more so you can see more of what I'm doing. So hit the run button again. Here you can see we have more information, but right now I'm I'm, I'm giving the given name, the surname, and the display name. So this is actually when you want to find all users in your um, Active Directory, which of course, if you work in a company and you have like a thousand, a thousand users, so all the users actually will be displayed here. So what about if we want to actually search for just, let me say, I want to search for users in, uh, in this organization unit called Active Directory users. So what I need to do is I will need to actually just use the get a day user, but I'm going to actually use a search based command with the search base so it's, so it's going to ask me where am i going to search from so i'm going to search from this organization unit so let me just go to the properties to get go to the attributes and here i'm going to get the distinguished name of the organization unit so i'm going to copy this and then go back to my powershell here and paste it here so don't forget to actually um let me just bracket this as well and then clean here you can see i'm only getting the information based on the set base i just enter which is this organization unit so let's see um if i go back to my organization units i just selected here you can see indeed i have um Einstein, i have i have kelvin i have levy lotte i have test moses as well so you can see these are the these are the information i actually got so but we can as well do the following i can decided 
to say that um, I want to actually just create a different variable. I want to actually create a different variable and put my search base here. Let me just put like, let me just enter something like source. I'm going to enter this. Let me just see if I still have the organization unit there. So I'm going to make sure I enter this, this. So my search base is going to be actually my source as well. So to make this a little bit cleaner, so let me just show you what I'm doing. Here you can see I have the get um, Active Directory users, which is my search base is. I've created a variable which I input this variable here. So my search base is going to be my source. So if I clear my screen and I type it again, you can see I'm still getting the same result. So right now I okay I'm been, I have been asked by my manager to actually um, send him a list of the users which are in this specific organization unit. So you don't want to just copy this all this information from your screen here and send it to your manager. So what you need to do is you're going to actually let me just create a variable here again. Got this users users and and here if I enter run the script again you can see right now i'm not getting any information because this information the proper this information has been imputed into this variable called users so to actually get my information what i need to do is i'm going to run the users and here you see i get the information i need as well so to actually export this info to an um to a csv file so what you need to do is you need to first of all you i will need to actually go display my variable here let me clear my screen if i run this you can see that the last command i will be run is this variable so what i need to do is right now i need to export monitor the pipe and then export csv file the csv file so where do i want to save the file so let me see let me go to my uh, let me just where should i save the file okay, i'm going to save it in my m drive I'm going to save it here. So I'm going to call it, let me just call it users.csv. And then I'm going to pull so that my information will be displayed. No type of information. So uh, let me just clear my screen again and run the script. Here you can see that now I'm not getting any information because the file has been exported to this to my M drive. So if I go to my M drive, here you can see I have an information called users, uh, a, uh, a file called users, a CSV file. So right now I don't have Office installed on this Windows server, but if I let me just right click and edit, and you can see I'm going to have this, it can be open in Notepad as well. You can see I have the information, the given name, the S name, the display name, and have all the users, their display name as well. But we can as well, let me just, let me cancel this and so we can as well actually uh, display more information. If, for example, I want to display the mail of the user and see which user has an email email address and which user does not have an email address, I can as well just run this. And here you can see we have we can see that um, so you, some users don't have email address, why some users have email address. So if you want to display, if you want to display actually a property of a user, let me just show you how you can do that quickly. So what you need to do is, uh, let me just go to the property of Lotter and go to properties. And here we have the attributes. So I want to display only attribute that has information. You can see we have a lot of attributes here, but not all attributes have um, information. So I'm going to go to my filter. I'm going to show only attributes that have values. And here you can see my attribute has been reduced to only attribute that has value. So if, for example, um, I want to display the preferred language. Okay, let me just see. I want to display the preferred language. What I need to do is I will need to actually see, okay, the preferred language. Let me just type the preferred language in my um, property and you can you see I'm going to get the preferred language of Lotte. So let me just type the preferred language. Let me just try to type that. See, comma, then preferred, I think this is one double arrow, D, D, and then language. So let me try to run this again. Let me clear my screen, run, 
and here you can see we have the preferred language which is being displayed we can see that the preferred language of, of lotto which is the um the nylons the N nl nl which is dot language so here's how you can actually display the property uh, properties or um, attributes of a given um user or if you want to display the, uh, the attributes of all the users in the organization unit so i hope this um script can actually help you you can actually go uh, further to actually expand this script if you want to have to get more information but for now i'm going to leave it this way and please if this video has been of any help to you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for taking my time to create this video and also try and like my video to encourage me to create more video so you can as well send me an email and i'll reply to you as quick as possible i'm going to leave my email in this um video uh, link below so you can also always contact me by sending me a private email thank you very much and see you next time bye